Hello everybody, I am Fleming Kong and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And I'm gonna save quick just in case I have to do that again. So in case I fail or anything, which I don't think I will. Okay, so this trouble actually helps you with the game. So you have to talk to her again to give it to her. She'll also cook one of the recipes if you put a mushroom and honey syrup on together because now we can cook two recipes together. It will make a honey shroom, I believe, which is pretty much those two things combined, so you can use it all at once, which is pretty cool. And now what you've all been waiting for, I think, the everybody not everybody knows it, but if you played this game and you've experienced it a lot and you've been playing around with it, you probably took on this trouble eventually. So we have to go on to um, the Vestite's roof near the bad shop to see the person whose trouble this is. Now just think, exclu looking for an exclusive badge at a bad shop. Now, who do you think that will be? Ms. Mouth, of course. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. I'm a pretty lucky girl to have a striping fellow like you take on my trouble. Well, let me get right to it, okay? I've done all I can find all I can to find this one exclusive badge, and it's hidden in the Hooktail's lair of that much. And it's in the room where we defeated Hooktail, so we have to go get it. So I guess I will see you guys there. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut right to it. Cut to the chase. So I'll see you there. Bye. Okay, guys. We're here at Hooktail's castle. And I actually used a lot of FP because I ran into a lot of battles. But anyway, where this badge is. The badge. You need Flurry to use to get it. It's right here. You have to blow it away. Because. Um. Miss Mouse does tell you that you need the power of wind. I just didn't say it. But I already knew it because I practiced this. So I'm not going to cut back right away because there's a badge that we can get. Which I never got in the first place. I don't remember why I never... Oh yeah, it spawns you right... You don't actually walk out of the castle. You could actually put on Fred. Of course I ran into a battle. Um... Stupid. Stylish. Ow. 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 What the heck? Stupid. That should kill both of them. Oh boy. I 
trying to get stylish. I've been trying to get stylish a lot because now I know how to pull them all off. At least with Mario and his hammer and his jump. And the reason I didn't come back yet is because there's a badge that I already explained why. So why am I explaining it again? Um, normally this block is right here. We could have gotten it before, but it would have wasted time, so. And there we go. So I'll see you guys back when we're at Miss Mouse. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. And I've been, I believe I've been playing for six, around six minutes. I think just under six minutes by a few seconds but that doesn't matter i'm gonna not care about that and we're gonna go talk to ms mouse since we got her exclusive badge mm -hmm -hmm. now my sweet promise to hear me out without getting mad you see i was the one who hid that badge it was a little game of mine i have to apologize but I knew you would find it, my handsome cheese hunk. You may have even more badge finding skills than I do. Hmm, I just thought of something. Perhaps I should just travel with you from now on. Because, hmm, hmm, I'm sure to find lots of badges that way, don't you think? Now about that reward, let's see. Take this badge that you managed to find, but I expect you to lead me to more. Now let me formally state that you will now enjoy the pleasure of my company. This is the secret partner in the game. And a lot of people think that you can only get her um, after chapter 5, but you can actually get her before your final partner. Ms. Mouse's abilities, a primer. Press X and Ms. Mouse will sniff out any items or objects hidden nearby. There doesn't seem to be anything in this area, dearie. When you press X, I'll sniff around and tell you if there are any items nearby. And when there are, she'll go like that. There's something right near here, sweetie. If there's something nearby, I'll let you know, like I did just now. And she uses Love Slap and Kiss Thief to steal enemies' items in battle. So, Kiss Thief, if you see a badge that an enemy is holding that you really want. It's really good to have Ms. Mouse. And now, if you didn't already know, Ms. Mouse was the little mouse in here. Yeah. So now you know. Anyway, since we have so much time left, we're, actually, we're gonna go to a thousand year door. We only... We're not even halfway done, and I thought it'd be almost... Oh, yeah. Upgrade Ms. Mouse right away. Before we even battle with her. Might as well. Yes, you shall power me up. Shazubi! I don't remember what she actually learns, I forget. Usually their first move that they learn is a protective move. Most of the partners. Let's see what she learned. Just cause I'm kinda curious. Tease. Actually I wanna see what that does. Check. Tease enemies with some slime moves, make them dizzy. Oh yeah, we got fiery jinx for Vivian. Oh my god. I think a lot of people think that that's the best move in, well, I don't know if a lot of people think, but I think that's the best move in the game. And I definitely use it a lot. And, wow, I actually have that move. That's pretty crazy. I thought that was her last move. I guess I was wrong. I don't remember what Vivian's last move is. Because you guys already knew, as I explained. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. 
something we can get now that we have Vivian. I forgot about this. I didn't do this on my practice. Probably should have. Spike shield. Make Mario damage proof when jumping on spiky foes. Best badge ever. Crit change. I want spike shield on. Nice. Ah, oh, are you serious? I have to go. So that's a really good badge. I'm really glad I picked that up. So now we can jump on spiked enemies. Which is so helpful. However, we had to sacrifice our ice smash and tornado jump. Which, Tornado Jump, I thought I was good with that, but I'm actually really bad at it. So, not too sad about that. But, Ice Smash, I didn't really use it that much, but it's still a pretty good badge. And, I know I check this almost every time, but do I have this? I think I do, but if I don't, that would be great. But, I'm almost positive I do have this. I do. Okay, well, I have to stop checking that all the time. Probably put the camera a little bit lower. There we go. Sorry if you got mad at me for not having the camera. Very good. That is right. We are going to the tropical island. Tropical island. Oh yeah. We better hurry, don't you think? We should go to the professor's office. Oh yeah. Then God, if you just said bless you, thank you. Okay, so Franklin just talks about how the demon, and apparently this is the thousandth year, so that means a demon could break out this year. So that's why we're kind of debating whether we collect the crystal stars or not, because then the enemies could still get in, and the demon could come out. So, blah, 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 I don't care about you, Professor Frankly. I guess we ought to consider not collecting crystal stars then. Yeah, exactly. No, we can't do that. There's a slight possibility the thousand year door is weakening. Yes, this is the thousands year. Yep. So it's on Key Hall Key. I'm none too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. So we're supposed to go ask people around Roughport how to get the key call, key hall key. And who are we gonna ask? 
Who are we, don't ask. It's not about who we're going to ask. It is the Almighty, the Great, Flavio. I am called Flavio. Yes, you are. And you're rich. Probably thrilled. So, we're going to trick him on to getting us on that island. Pretend that we're... Then we're telling him how we're looking for the Crystal Star. And he's saying how Cortez has all this money. And that it's stupid and he is a millionaire. And he's super brave. And... Pretty much, he gets on our ship, and he thinks that we want to steal his treasure, but we're actually not. We're actually just want the Crystal Star, because Mario's too dumb to actually want treasure for what he does. Because Mario's an idiot. <laughs> so I'm the captain, and he's the leader. And I thought the captain was the leader. <laughs> Turns out I was wrong. As you can see, there's now a boat here, but we're going to explore that boat next time because there's a save block right here, and we're going to be doing something next time, and starting chapter 5 next time, and next time. Did I mention next time? Because next time. Plus, it's almost time. For next time. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the two episodes I recorded today. Also our hammer makes squeaky noise now. So. That's a thing. And. See you next time. Please subscribe too. Because I have like four or five. I don't even know. I don't, I, don't, I don't really care much about my subscribes, but I do like how they are enjoying my videos. And I'm enjoying them, I guess. I don't know. I love, I'm enjoying doing it, so I'm just playing the games I like. And I feel like this is a really great game. I also feel like I probably should have waited to do this walkthrough when I got a little bit more subscribers and more people watching me. But don't worry because I'm going to be doing all the Paper Mario games and I don't really care how many people are watching me because as long as the people who are watching me like it, then I like it. I would probably like it even if nobody was watching me or maybe even one person. Which is worse than nobody. No, it's not. <laughs> also, we got some experience. Like, five, I think. And we got some coinage. But I'm just gonna let you guys go. Because I'm just, I'm blabbering on. So, subscribe. Like the video. Because I liked it. And Ms. Mouse. Bye.